guys, it's me, Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here and you guys are not OGs and part of the Fit Fam, you guys totally should be. Hit the subscribe button down below, turn on the bell, and follow me on my socials. I actually have my fitness Instagram that's down below here, and then I have my Snapchat up here. But if you guys want to follow me on those for some like fitness inspiration or motivation, I don't know what you guys would get out of it. But if you guys want to follow me, feel free. I'm going to be doing a reaction video to Christy Vetter's what I wish I knew six months ago for vlogmas day 10, which was on December 10th. So if you guys are interested in that and you guys want to see a lot of you guys requested this So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm an exercise and wellness major at Arizona State University I have lost weight in the past. I have a 55 pound weight loss journey story down below two days ago marks my three-year milestone of being on my own health journey and I run fitness accounts I run this YouTube channel, my Snapchat, my Instagram, and then I help other people run theirs. Everyone's on their own journey, and so like I'm not judging her like journey per se, but we are gonna go and like react to this video and like my actual thoughts. I'm not gonna hold back. So with that being said, I don't think Christy will see this, but Christy, if you are watching this right now, first things first, I'm really proud of you because I've kind of seen, like I'm still subscribed to you, so I kind of see like your titles on your videos. Occasionally I will click them, and then everyone was telling me, hey, react to this video. So that's what I'm gonna do. Know that I love you and, you know, forever in the same part of town, hit your girl up. So we're gonna watch it. So we're gonna go, everyone told me to scroll to like 10 minutes into this video. So we're gonna start that. It says, what I wish I knew six months ago, Vlogmas 10, 2017. Way in my first vlog, and then we'll um, see if there's anything. In and I'm gonna pause it to talk. Okay, so first things first, um, she's reacting to her first weight loss vlog in here. That's my own, like, mini goal. It's and she so surpassed the goal. Like, the scale is not everything. Like, my heart. So first of all, this is what she says she wishes she knew six months ago, and she says the scale's not everything. That's so true. I had to go through that myself. So in her like vlog that she's reacting to, so this is like a reaction upon a reaction. Um, I didn't know that's what this video was gonna be, but she says in her like original video that she's doing mostly all cardio. Anyone who knows me knows that I preach weightlifting like nobody's business. I used to do all cardio as well. Um, so like, let's see what she has to say about that. Hopefully she says something about it. She's obviously learned a lot in six months because like even for me, I think the six month point was when I learned this too. I never did the elliptical. Okay, so right here she says that she wanted to <clears throat> try arm weights and I'm guessing that's like dumbbells or like maybe the arm machines and then she says her school gym which I'm guessing is college because I, I honestly didn't watch like these because I focus on my own like health so like I don't watch that many people but I've always been subscribed to her. Let's just keep going. Is this so Well, okay, so one thing I did want to say about the whole like college thing like I know that being in the gym is like really hard for some people in the beginning and like this is her one of her first like weight loss vlogs. So I do get that but now I haven't seen a lot of her videos since then and I wonder like does she work out at her college? Does she have a different gym? Did she I'm guessing I think she might have graduated because I saw that on her Instagram when I like went to work. And she knows names of uh, machines now and like exercises. Film that video, I legitimately thought that I would be like 120 pounds by now. I thought that I would be like. I wonder how tall she is right now, too, but I totally get that because when I started my journey, I thought that I was gonna be, you know, like I was thinking I'd be like 140, but like clearly I'm not. I'm like 50 pounds higher than that, but I, I'm happy. In six months, so skinny, blah blah blah. And I wonder she wanted to be why skinny. I'm not. And why I'm happy that I'm not watching that just like I wanted to shake myself and say like 
forget about the numbers and forget about like doing this fast like i'm so happy that i lost like six pounds in a week we are literally the exact same person because in the beginning all i wanted was to see the scale drop but then I realized so quickly that the scale isn't what matters. It's how you feel, how your body looks in the mirror. Like when you're looking at it, are you happy? You don't need to be a size two to be happy and uh, loving yourself in the process. Sorry, I'm like going on a little rant, but this is exactly what she's saying. And I completely understand that. And she's obviously learned a lot in six months. Yeah, probably was. I was in such a hurry. I just want to tell myself at that point, like just slow down, like take it easy and don't go overboard when i started out six months ago i was eating like strictly 1200 calories a day too. which i thought was scientifically healthy you know my fitness pal my tells fitness you that puts oh. in their thing but literally the time, i was doing like an hour of cardio every day and probably burning like a lot of calories probably like four or five hundred calories each I day i wasn't taking rest days because i was i was just like that too i would do um three miles on the treadmill, which is about like 400 calories, so. So, so desperate to see the number on the scale drop. It's really, really hard when you're starting out losing weight, when you're like at your highest, I mean, that wasn't my highest weight ever, but, and it's just not good for your metabolism. Like I did that overnight, I immediately just started eating 1200 calories. I didn't mm -hmm. even like ease into it, but that's not what's gonna help you in the long run. That's what's gonna lead to yo-yoing and gaining mm -hmm. it back. Exactly. And that's what I learned later on to myself then and to any of you who are watching this that might apply to now. You're overweight, you're unhappy, you want to change it, and you want to like do it as fast as possible, but that is not what's going to help you in the long run. I wish I had started True. out with like 1,600 calories and doing like slow weight training. I've learned from that. I've yeah. come a long way. Weight training, I have to tell you guys, is one of the biggest like body sculptors too. And if you build the muscle, your body burns more calories. You can either eat more or you can even eat a little bit less. And that's when you're in the caloric deficit. And that is when you lose weight. So if you're weightlifting, you're going to be seeing more results because if you want your body to look a certain way and you're losing weight, then you're not building it. You know, you're just taking away the fat and just whatever you have left you're working with, you know? It's just funny because in that video, I was like, I want this to be sustainable, something I can keep up. And then I went to but it's not sustainable. calories yeah. and doing like way too much cardio, mm -hmm. which I, it's not sustainable. I did lose weight pretty fast, as you guys have seen in my vlogs. And in that first In the beginning, you can lose it really I fast. Lost 20 pounds. In the first three months, I have a video called I Lost 20 Pounds in Three Months. You can watch that too. Since then, for the past three months, I have not lost weight. And if you're just stumbling upon this and you're probably like, really, this is your looking back at six months of losing weight? It's not. It's me looking back at six months of coming to terms with myself and being happier and taking a hold of fitness and my healthy lifestyle, not just losing weight. In one of my vlogmas videos, I talked about why I... That's when you know, though, that it's a lifestyle because the moment that you start to realize that it's not just like a weight loss journey and it's more of like a lifestyle and like what you actually want and you taper it down and you start making healthy choices like that's when it becomes sustainable that's when you're going to look back in three years like i have and be like wow i'm still happy i'm still healthy like i'm eating well enough you know like i'm balancing my life and i'm happy like okay let's keep going losing weight and someone pointed out to me that i even like the way i talked about it was different now like she seems very the, educated too like in this past journey, six months and, now I call and like fitness journey and oh. that says volumes and i think that's so so right i just like, said that to lose weight i want to be skinny i don't care about being strong i don't care about muscle like i don't want to be muscular i just want to be thin it's just so different than now and it's just so funny looking back like in six months how much your mindset can change and I don't want to be too repetitive of the video when I talked about why I stopped losing weight. I would hear people say, like, I like weightlifting so much more, like muscle building, all this. And I'd be like, really? Why? Like, I love not it. Gonna be me. And here I am telling you, like, that's what makes me want to continue fitness. And that's what makes me love it and go to, like, that's what makes me look forward to the gym. I, I feel like I'm all over the place and I thought I had coherent thoughts, but now they're nowhere to be found. So I want to, like, see changes and build muscle and, like, build my butt. So I'm like excited to go do squats you know what i mean like what can i do today that's different than i couldn't do yesterday you know it's about gaining something rather than losing something mm -hmm. it's about gaining not only physical muscle it's not like just literally she and i are going we i went through that too like i mean i'm still going through it but like i'm at a different point in my journey right now but like those words that she's saying right now if you guys look back at my old instagram post there's literally a post where i was like um 
I may have lost 55 pounds, but I gained so much more. And what I meant by that was like, I gained my happiness, my health, like all those things back. And when she says this, like I definitely connect with that. And I, she knows what she's talking about when she says it because she's gone through it. gaining ability and mm -hmm. gaining strength. Yeah. It's not the end all be all of fitness, it's losing weight. And that's what I've learned the most over the past six months. It's all about being healthy, it's not about being skinny. And I told myself that and I feel like I preach that in my videos that I, I didn't be. But one thing with that is like so many people go into it and they like find their journey through wanting that and then realize that that's not actually what makes them happy and that's what they want like for me personally like I wanted to be skinny too at one point and then I realized like can't see my muscle right now you guys because I don't have a pump but like yeah you can't really see it but like I'll insert a photo right here um I totally get what she's saying because like I went into it wanting that and like clearly she did too but then like she looks so healthy she looks so happy I was looking at a photo of her face from recently, like this video, to before, and if you compare them, her face is slimmer. She looks healthier. Her face has more of a glow. That, like I still wanted to be like super thin, super fast. I wish I understood that progress wasn't measured by getting as skinny and as like thin as you could, as fast yeah. as you could. Like progress is so much more than that. This was mm -hmm. all over the place. But that there's also a difference between progress and growth. We kind of like looking back at the last six months of my fitness journey so far i still have a long way to go and every day is part of the journey hey it's that's all about good. the journey not the destination bottom line you should not go yes. into it with an end date of when you want to be a certain number of pounds in your mm -hmm. head because your goals will change well here's the thing you can go into it with that but don't get mad at yourself when you don't reach it because most of the time if you do reach it then you're not going to keep it off as you go i want to hear from you guys updates on your fitness journey when did you start what's what's up what are you doing right now over the screen now or whenever i'm gonna be i'm put <clears throat> wow okay so she does have a photo here of her transformation so far i would love to see a photo of her wearing i'm guessing one of the photos is before and the ones after i really just want to see her in the same shorts and sports bra because that is the easiest way to tell how much progress she's had um not even physically, but I'm just curious to see like the physical progress. Just like a few pictures of like when Let's I started see. a little bit after I started, that was like a couple weeks in. Oh, okay. Um, she bought Jim Shark. Loosely, but like I'm still, it's a process. It's like a rolling thing. So I'm going to She needs to take a picture with the shorts that she originally wore and the sports bra because right now all she inserted were photos that didn't match. Because then you can see like the difference. I'm not saying you need to wear the exact same outfit, but like her poses are completely different too. So it's not a good indicator, if that makes sense. And not that she's looking totally for body progress, but like you can definitely see body progress if you're wearing the same stuff. If my focus back to cutting and that will be, I want to make like a whole video vlog series about that. Um, I would love to do a cut with her. So like seriously, girl, hit me up. So let me know ideas for that because I know a lot of people try and lose weight in the new year and like technically I am, but like I feel like I have such a different mindset about it. So you can see these. I gotta say you guys, I tried cutting multiple times and like for some reason I just like bulking a lot more because I like food. But when you become motivated with those things, like you can do it. And I was just, I'm actually really interested to see the rest of her journey. Let's see. So get excited for that. Definitely subscribe if you want to see all those vlogs to come in the new year and being healthier and happier. Thumbs up if you made it to the end of this whole spiel because it's all over the place. I, I liked this spiel. Um, I thought it was really so awesome. You know, more you have, like, more people need to watch the video. Thoughts. Looking back, I know a lot of you have been watching since the beginning of this fitness journey six months ago. Like, let me know what you perceived as like how I've changed or like if you've noticed things that I've changed or like done differently. Like I went gluten and dairy free about three months ago, like halfway through. I actually might want to go out in the snow and show you guys because I want to go outside just for a minute and then I'll focus in on my paper. <laughs> That's what I keep saying. <laughs> Let's go see some freaking snow. Oh my so God, then the rest of it's a vlog. I'm so jealous. Can I join you? I have to tell you guys she is so cute but we're gonna read the comments really quick it has a thousand likes I'm one of them uh, 10 dislikes I don't know why people would dislike it but you know people are haters so it says all of these are really nice comments so that's really cool but her name's Christy I just want to like look at that because I didn't look at that before. I wonder what her weight is right now and like I want to see what she looks like in the shorts and the sports bra. I'm not trying to say that she needs to post it but like I would genuinely, genuinely be curious to see that because I don't know if you guys know but I do still have the same thong and sports bra 
that I can take pictures in and I'm gonna keep so that then people can see the difference until I like randomly lose it or something but um I would love to see her in that that sounds really weird to say but like I'm just saying you go through such a big mental change and like you can see how happy she is in this video and how knowledgeable she is and like I think a lot of people need to see that too and like everyone has to go through it themselves though so at the end of the day like if you guys are looking to start your journey and you guys want some guidance like clearly people like I'm not trying to say like I'm someone you should totally watch my videos and stuff but like <clears throat> starting the end of December and beginning of January I'm gonna be posting like a ton of stuff that's literally geared towards weight loss and a little bit of muscle building too that's like all of my journey um, and then she's someone like you can watch her vlog see what she's eating see how her journey goes and like someone like that is someone that if I had not started my journey three years ago and I would have been starting now I would be watching her um, I'm probably gonna keep up with her channel a little bit but the big thing is Christy if you're watching this or if any of you guys want to send this to her feel free because I don't have anything negative to say about this and I think that she's really knowledgeable obviously she's gone through it she didn't like fake it you know and like say like oh my god guys I did this this and this like she genuinely like put herself into the lifestyle and I think that's really awesome so with that being said hey good luck to you Christy I can't wait to see everything else that you accomplish if you are ever in Arizona or if you know you ever want to be friends with me even internet friends you know that'd be pretty cool but honestly I see like a lot of myself in her if that makes sense and that's a really nice quality to see because like a lot of people that I watch I don't see myself in but her journey seems to be very very similar to mine so that's all I wanted to say for this video I hope that you guys enjoyed if you guys did don't forget to like comment subscribe and I hope that you guys enjoy for the rest of this vlogmas fitness whatever you guys want to call it it is fitness on my channel but I hope that you guys enjoy turn on the bell I post every single day and then starting in January and December I'm gonna be posting a lot more content for you guys so if you guys want to see like any workouts or anything like that also check out my snapchat and my Instagram because I have stuff going up on there Saturdays I usually post a workout video on Instagram and then on my snapchat intermittently it goes up on my story so I hope that you guys enjoy if you guys did don't forget to like comment subscribe and um, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video bye babes all right guys thanks so much for watching another episode of my fitness I hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on my Instagram my snapchat and uh, if you guys want to sign up for my mailing list, feel free to do that too. But with that being said, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes!